This is section 1.5. It's about the types of materials. So 1.5, the types of materials. Uh, there are many three different types of materials. So we categorize the materials into three different types. Conductors, and then insulators, and then the third one uh, is semiconductors. So we have conductors, uh, insulators, and uh, between conductors and insulator is the semiconductors. So for conductors, it's a material that let uh, electrons uh, flow through it. Flow through it means just flow inside of it, not just on the surface. It's inside the body, go through the organ, uh, of it, so that means flow through it. And then next one, uh, it's the insulators. So for ins insulators, it's material that prevents electrons from flowing through it. Electrons cannot go to the body of it, cannot go inside the body of it. It only can stay on the surface of it. If there's no force to push it forward or attract it it will just stay on the surface of it. It doesn't move unless there are some other force to push it. And then semiconductor is a material. Sometimes it acts like uh, conductors. Uh, when the environment changes, it acts like insulators. So when this environment changes, this environment includes uh, the temperature changes, such as temperature increases, uh, this semiconductor material start to conduct material uh, conduct electrons. If it at a low temperature, it may not conduct anything. It may not conduct electrons. Or if we apply electric current to it, it can start to conduct more electrons. If you don't conduct or if you don't apply any current to it, uh, it does not conduct electrons. So these are the main thing to change its characteristics or its behavior. So here, right, for a good conductors, uh, so for a good conductor, silver is a very good conductor. Copper is a good conductor. Silver is even better than it, but silver is more expensive. We only use silver as conductor in maybe a higher quality uh, or more uh, more important device such as the hearing aid. The wires in the hearing aid uh, are made of silver. And then for a regular uh, copper, a regular wire that can be made of coppers, uh, steel is a conductor, gold is a conductor. Uh, by comparison, it is not as good as steel. Copper, of course, is worse than way worse than silver. Gold is valuable, right? It's a valuable metal, but in term of conductivity, it's not that good. Aluminum, a conductor. Mercury, iron, all metals are conductors. Uh, water. This one is a little bit ambiguous. If you can say this is a tap water, or the water is dirty, is not pure water, it is a good conductor. Well, the wood is not dry, so it's wet wood, that is a good conductor. Humid air, good conductor. And there are lots of uh, way more conductors in the, in the universe. For insulator, uh, so for insulator, uh, pure water, very pure, 99.9999% pure water can be considered as insulator. Distilled water, glass is a very good insulator. Rubber, good insulator. That's why we have the rubber boots, rubber glove right, for the technicians to wear before going to fix uh, circuits or uh, do some replacement, right? replacing some electric, electric devices. 
paper, dry wood is insulator, plastic, wax, dry air, cement, ceramic, they are all good insulators. And then for semiconductors, silicon is the popular one. And then germanium, uh, these two are popular semiconductors. We use silicons and germaniums to make uh, lots of important uh, electronic devices. These device, devices include uh, semicon include diode, uh, also includes transistors, operational amplifiers, and those and etc.